guys, it's Lil Knoll here, back in again with another video. So, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, and I said that in my last video, I just recorded two videos. One was just unboxing this. Um, so, yeah. So, I downloaded Rockbox on the unboxing video, and I'm gonna show you how to install Rockbox on an iPod Classic 6th Gen or any iPods except touch and the uh, 6th and 7th gen man so yeah hey guys so what we're gonna do to download rockbox on the ipod is to first go on rockbox downloader so once you're on that you're gonna see one that says rockbox version 3.15 download so you're gonna click on that one and then you're gonna get on the sketchy looking website and this is the website you need even though it looks pretty sketchy so what you're gonna need to do is click download installer and you want the one for any computer you have like I have Windows so, and a Mac so I'm recording on a Windows so I'm gonna click on Windows you can also get on Linux Macs and yeah so you're gonna get this zip folder and I'll show you what I do from there. Alright guys, so once you got Rockbox installed on your computer, and sorry that my I couldn't do screen recording for some reason it does not work anymore. So once you uh, download Rockbox, you're gonna be getting a folder right here. So you wanna drag it to your computer and you wanna unzip all the files. So you're gonna click, right click, and you're gonna press extract all. So then you want to press extract right here and then it's going to be extracting all the files and you'll be getting another folder popped up right here and you're going to click on this and you're going to get something called barkboxutility.exe. So I'm going to X out of this and I'm going to move these real quick to the trash. So I already have it downloaded right here. So you're going to load up Rockbox on your computer and you're gonna click yes you're gonna get a page like this and you want to click yes it won't do anything to your computer so you're gonna get this pop-up right here it's gonna say something with your configuration is invalid so you're gonna press okay if it doesn't show that that's all right so right now it doesn't have anything connected so what you're gonna need to do is get your cable right here and you want to have it plugged into your computer so mine's plugged in inside there so what I'm gonna do is you know, I wanna get the side that works. So let me plug it. So once it's plugged in, you'll get a screen like this. If it's a synchronizing or anything like that, it'll be fine. You don't need to care about that that much. So um, what you're gonna do here is it's gonna pop up a folder, and you want the folder to pop up. If there's no folder popping up that says that something with your iPod, mine says can all iPo is gonna probably say the same iPo, but with whatever you named it. So you need a folder to pop up in order for it to work. So now if you go in here, you just click auto detect, it's gonna show one and it's gonna go right here, iPod Classic 6th Gen Stable. So it's gonna get the model of your iPod. Then you wanna click right here and then you need to look for your iPod. So if I go here, press OK, it's gonna work. So it knows that that's my iPod. So what you need to do is over here on Rockbox, you need to uh, select all of these and especially the bootloader. And then if you want themes, you can go and customize and you get this page right here. So I'm gonna get Absolute Black 320 and I'm gonna select this. So once you're on that, you can look at it if you want anything else. And if you do not want Rockbox, you can go here. First, you might want to remove the Rockbox from your audio player first. Then you want to remove Boot Lure. And yeah, so to install it, you want to go into installation and you want to press install. So you're going to be, uh, it's going to show you what's happening on your iPod. Your iPod is going to start saying OK to disconnect, but it's normal. Your wire hasn't been disconnected or anything. So you're going to... I, uh, it's gonna load but at 40% it's gonna tell you to do something and see it says select menu and the select button and menu so you want to hold those until you just need to hold them until you get another pop-up here saying release them 
so uh, you just need to keep holding and you need also do it fast otherwise it won't work so now it says release them and I have released them so your iPod's gonna look like it's dead but it's now downloading the boot files on it and you can hear some beeps uh, that's from the clicker wheel beep so you'll hear it uh, one last time right now and then uh, it's gonna disconnect and then it's gonna restart and you got Rockbox on your iPod, but don't disconnect it right away and because it's gonna need the iPod to remount and it's gonna download the rest. Also, if you get something that says error right here or get code that says error, then that's fine, that's normal. Then you just need to, if everything goes well and it goes to 100% and it still shows error or anything like that, you just need to press select and menu again and you get rid of those error files and everything. So yeah, um, so once it's all done, it's gonna show this. So now it's downloading old zip files and your iPod is gonna be reappearing. So you're gonna be getting a few new folders. Like I got uh, some more things like Rockbox for example, and some battery bench tests, media and all the other stuff. So you would just wanna X out of this. And then once it says package installation finished successfully, then you're good. And yeah, so I'll cut to the part when all my stuff is done downloading on there. And yeah, guys, so all my stuff has been finished downloading and you just want to click OK. And once it's done, you just want to X out of it. You should keep the files still, even the zip ones and everything. And you should also keep your utility and everything because if you plug it in and you need to change stuff add emulators on there or anything then it won't work so once you're on there you want to click eject first um, I already clicked it and once you're on the menu you just click eject like a, you would on your normal iPod so once you're done you just go on it you'll be getting this screen once you unplug it from your computer it will go away and you get something like this if there's nothing shown, just boot up normally, that's alright, but if you get this, you can press the select button and menu and hold until it resets. So once it resets, it should start up normal. You'll get some code right here, and now you're in Rockbox. So, some cool features with Rockbox are you get some applications and all that. To enter, like to go on your music again, you're gonna click on database, and then now you get your tracks, artists, everything. So I can click here and it's gonna say that but it's nothing it just goes in all your music that was on your iPod from iTunes your music your videos anything like everything that was here will be on this rock box and then you can go on your uh, songs recording you can record voice memos and all that you can also if you want to play games you go on plugins and you get some games over here like for example you get doom right here and all that and to go back these buttons now can make you go back and then you also get applications such as calculator battery bench it's just so many good things with rockbox and then you can even adjust volume like add more bass more treble less bass less treble this thing that gets the most out of your ipod it's like technically you're jailbreaking into your ipod so if you want to go back to the old software all you need to do is just Make sure Rockbox is on. Hold the play pause for five few seconds until it says shutting off. Once it's shut off and the whole screen goes black, then you wanna click pause and then you wanna flick the switch like really fast. So pause and flick the switch really fast and now you're gonna be going back to your regular OS. So now to make sure your quick wheel works again, you wanna just release this now. And it's gonna take a little longer to go back into the OS because you got rock locks on there. So see, I still got my regular stuff on here. So I got my cover flow, everything still works on there. And I still got my uh, pictures going and everything works. So I still have my photos here. So everything still works. Even on Rockbox, you can enter your photos and everything. So here I have 
my games, everything still works. So if you want to go back to Rockbox, once you're done with this, you click the center button and the menu button, hold it for a few seconds, and you need to reset it, and then you get back on the code, and then you're on Rockbox again. So it's pretty simple, and yeah. And for the error thing, I'll put a video right now showing what the how it would look like and that's not a problem anything white screen then you reset and if you can error screen you still reset so you don't want to reset it right away if it shows error you're gonna wait for your boot files to load fully and once those are done you can reset it and i hope this video was helpful and yeah so comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching also I'm going to be flash mounting this iPad's iPod, I mean, so I'll show you how to do that in a little bit, and I'll also show you how to run emulators such as Mario and Pokemon on that. So once again, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah, it's so normal.